two 1958 Hoffman transistor radios. Right on the front, they say trans-solar. So they're solar-powered, right? Well, one is anyway. We looked at this radio a while back, a radio with the brand name Solar. That wasn't Solar at all. They just used the word as a brand. But there were solar radios in the 1950s. Admiral's first transistor radio in 1956 had a solar option. You could buy, at extra cost, a sun power pack that would power your Admiral by the sun. Hoffman Electronics followed in 1957 with their 411 series in all these great colors. These early solar radios were expensive, so not many were sold, and today they are quite rare. There are videos on this channel all about these early Admiral and Hoffman solar radios. What we're looking at today is Hoffman's second transistor radio, the 1958 Transsolar, a smaller, less expensive, and quite popular radio that also came in those great Hoffman colors. But what we're looking at specifically is a mystery radio in that series, of which only one is known to exist. This Hoffman model has on the back a slide switch for choosing between solar power and battery power. You use the solar power, which is free, of course, when you can, and switch to battery power when you can't. The solar cells are quite sensitive, and you can actually play this radio indoors under a lamp, or at least you can under an incandescent lamp. Now, here's another example of this model, the same RP706 Hoffman radio. But where are the solar cells? Instead of those cells, there's a blank matching red panel where those cells would normally be. And on the back, the solar battery switch is there, but it is glued in the battery position and so can't be moved. Did this radio leave the factory this way? I believe it did. Everything about it says factory to me, most especially the perfect color and fit of the blank panel that substitutes for the solar panel. Then why, you may ask, does it say trans-solar right on the front, just like the solar models? Well, if Hoffman did issue any quantity of these radios like this, Without the solar cell panel, there must have been some internal debate at Hoffman about the front nameplate saying Transsolar. Do we remake this nameplate? Do we block out the word solar somehow? Their conclusion was, apparently, not to worry about it. They must have concluded just as these people did with their solar branding that the name Transsolar doesn't specifically, exactly, say that the radio is solar-powered. It's just a name, right? What's in a name? From outer space research come the Hoffman solar cells that give free power to this Transsolar radio. And you can get one of these radios free with the purchase of a Hoffman TV. It's the only radio of its kind on Earth. Flick the switch and this amazing personal radio plays with free power supplied by the sun. Plays indoors under incandescent light, too. Flick again and it gets its power from a battery for nighttime or sunless days. 
and the Hoffman solar cells built into the Trans Solar's unbreakable case will never wear out. The Trans Solar has six transistors, push pull audio output, and earphone jack for private line listening. In six fashion right colors, $79.95. These are the Hoffman solar cells that keep the voice of Navy's vanguard alive long after conventional power sources have failed. The identical cells used to bring you endless free power in your Hoffman Trans Solar personal radio. The Hoffman Trans Solar.